In this session, I'm going to talk about item number three here, sorting data via a query. And then also we're going to apply some criteria to those queries in an access database. So let's go back here to access and let's say I have a query as we talked about this also in the previous video. So we have a query that we designed from earlier and this query has these specific fields. It has the first name, last name, street address, city, state and zip and telephone and email. Those fields are from the customer's table but then we were able to also go and get the contract amount and the date when the contract was signed and the contract type all this data we got it from the contracts table so notice we are pulling data from two tables here and by now you should know why we are able to pull data from two tables let's go ahead and modify this query so what we can do is we can click here under view on the drop down and choose design view or the easiest, and this is a better way of doing it probably, is to right click on the item and then choose what you want to do. So in this case, I want to choose a design view. So I click on design view. And now we are going to change a couple things here. Let's say we wanted to order the customers or that list, that query, we wanted to order it by last name. So all you have to do is to sort it. All you have to do is you click on the drop down here under the sort row and let's say we want ascending order by last name. If I click on run, notice that all the customers will be ordered automatically by last name. Now let's say I changed my mind and I want to order them by first name. So what you do is you go under the view here or design view or right click and choose design view again and then change it so you order by first name in ascending order and then take the order out for this field. There are ways to order by two or more fields here as well and keep in mind that the first column here takes precedence. So it's going to order by this first and then the, second, the other one and so on. Let's go ahead and run this. And notice now we have all the A's and so on reordered. That's how the ordering goes. Now let's go ahead and specify some criteria to our queries. So let's say we wanted to see only the customers that are within a zip code. Notice before we were talking about um, separating in one of the previous videos I was talking about when you enter the data into a table make sure that you select or you enter individual pieces of that data in separate fields. For example, not the whole address in one field, you separate the cities, state, zip, and so on, so that you can actually sort it later, sort the customers later. So notice, in we let's say we want to see all the customers that are living in the city of Holland, for example. So what you do is you right click on the query here and then choose design view. And then under city, notice right here where it says criteria, we just type the word Holland and then we run this query. Notice it gave us all the other fields along with just the customers that are in the city Holland. Let's say we are not interested in the field here for telephone number and all that type of stuff. If we don't want that to show up, what we do is we go back to the design view we could either delete the field completely, for example, for the back here, the telephone and email, or we can uncheck it. And this check means that it's going to show or not show that field in the data sheet view when we run this query. So that's how you hide and show uh, the different fields. So if I click on show, notice at this point, the telephone number will not display anymore. Now, what about if we wanted to go back to our query? And if you remember from earlier, if you remember from earlier, we had customers from other cities as well. We had, uh, let, let me display all of them. So if I take this criteria out, rerun it, notice we have customers from Holland here and also from the city of Lansing and other ones as well. So let's say I wanted to display only the customers from Holland or Lansing. So what you do is you go back to the design view 
and then right here under the city we add criteria Holland and then down here we type also Lansing and then run the query and notice at this point we have the customers displayed from just these two cities so this is a type of criteria filtering it by two items within the same field now here's another thing that you can do here notice that these by city here they are not ordered together in a certain order like by Holland first and then Lansing next and so on to change that or to fix that what you do is you right click you go under design view and this is what we learned earlier and let's say we want to order this in ascending order by city so we rerun this and notice now we have all the actually we don't have them uh, ordered correctly at this point because if we go back to the design view notice if you scroll to the left we are sorting this stuff also by the first field so that's why I was saying earlier that the first left hand side field takes precedence so if I take that out the sorting for by first name now notice these will be sorted correctly by city so we have all the Holland customers and then all the Lansing customers now you could go and modify this even further so let's say I wanted to get customers from Holland and Lansing but with incomes or contract amounts more than 5,000 5,000 or more so notice we have some here with less than 5,000 so the way you change that with adding a third criteria to this query is by going back here and then we, we have those two criteria right here Holland and Lansing and then we are going to add a third one and the third criteria it's going to be by amount so if we go under contract amount and then we add here notice criteria on this same row in the right spot here we add greater equal 5000 and then run this notice it's going to display only the customers with greater or equal to 5000 actually we have here one with 300 and the reason for that is because we are telling the system notice the reason why it's giving us the 300 is because we have asked the system to show or Lansing so it's got to be a criteria of Holland and greater than 5,000 or Lansing so we could either take out Lansing here or add also for so we'd have to add either the second criteria here under or which is not very common or just take Lansing out and then adjust the criteria just so we see the results so at this point we have the criteria is city Holland and then all greater than 5,000 if I run it notice it will have the right numbers if I go back under design view and add Lansing then I need to probably put here greater than 5,000 for Lansing as well and then run it and then it will give me only the numbers greater than 5,000 so that's how you run it with multiple criteria. now this is limitless basically you can have any type of combination here you can have other types of fields from these tables you can add even more than two tables if they are linked together correctly just keep in mind that queries are pretty much almost limitless depending on how many fields you have and how many combinations of those fields that you want to put together